Hey fellas, hi. Today I'm going to talk about a case in which a few people have found it quite tough to even get a job in data analytics even after acquiring the knowledge of all the tools. Yet, uh, they're not getting the role of their choice or they're not getting the role at all, right? Few of them might be called to interviews, few of them, you know, flunk in the interviews and so on. So what might, what might be the reason behind it? I'm trying to understand that. I guess it's not a big question mark. After tools, the next important thing to get a role or get a job in data analyst field is hands-on experience. Experience, project level experience, end to end project level experience, right from data ingestion till reporting. There are a lot of stages in between. For example, data cleaning, data preparation, exploratory data analytics, model building, and finally, dashboard building. So all these steps, you need to have experience of a project in which you have, you have participated in all these steps. That's called hands-on experience. A lot of participants, a lot of our students do lack it. So that's why we have come up with this course, which is called as Data Analytics End-to-End -end Projects in which we'll only discuss the application of the tools, not the tools, but the application of the tools in the data analytics industry. When I talk about the projects, there are many kinds of projects, but they can be categorized into two major projects. One is supervised, the other one is unsupervised learning related. Supervised learning related projects are the projects which work on a data which has a business goal which has a target variable. The target variable might be predicting a price. The target variable might be predicting whether the particular customer is going to churn out of the organization or not. That is supervised learning. They have a target variable. Unsupervised learning is there is no target. You're just exploring the data like clustering techniques, segmentation, customer segmentation comes into unsupervised learning. On top of that, is something called as text analytics as well which helps a lot of companies in analyzing the reviews and the textual and the subjective data related to the customer experience. So in this projects, we will we'll basically discuss around 10 projects, starting with customer segmentation, starting with churn predictions, and we'll keep on moving towards various kind of projects towards supervised and unsupervised learning. Let me tell you a few of the projects. So we'll start with a very interesting project called as customer segmentation from the unsupervised learning. We'll try and learn how to segment customers, customers so that we can target them with proper uh, you know, marketing and promotional techniques. Then we'll move on to churn analytics, that is trying to predict which of the following customers or employees go to leave my organization. In sentiment analysis, we uh, analyze subjective data, the data which consists of text, so that we can find out information about it. After that, we'll move on to projects like fraud, uh, fraud analytics, We'll move on to projects like time series forecasting, another very interesting project in which we'll be able to forecast few numbers of the future. For example, if I'm given the sales of an organization for the last four years, I can use that and I can apply techniques to predict the sales for the next six months or eight months. Imagine what that, that can do to a business because it reduces the uncertainty in the business. We'll move on to then recommendation systems, something which works in Prime Video or Netflix. We'll also move on to image classification. We'll also move on to recommendation systems. We'll also move on to market basket analysis and social network analysis. All these projects will give you enough hands-on experience to talk about application of data analytics in the real world industry. And that's when in your veins, you'll become confident during that interview process. We are starting this course this 29th June, this month, and it'll be a 10 to 1 batch. There'll be three hours every Saturday and Sunday, every weekend. Mode of communication will be English and the course, I believe, will last for around four months. For more information, visit iNeuron.ai and you can also check out the link given in the description. Thank you. See you there in the course.